Hey everyone! So that's the trailer of my new book and um, it's a tale about divine time and how divine time transpires in our earthly lives. So every time a Torah reader will say, you'll get what you want in divine timing and you wonder what does that really mean, yeah? So if you're interested to know more, if you're interested to read this book, um, get a copy and it is now available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. The link to Amazon is in the description box below, okay? And don't forget to check out the link and as well as share it with your friends, okay? Uh, for more uh, book launch updates, you can follow me in Instagram at Nomad Soul Warrior, as well as my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. Okay? Uh, don't forget to get a copy after this reading and let me know your feedback on Amazon reviews too. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's start your reading. Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your Love Connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, this reading is about their current feelings towards you. So basically, you already have someone in mind, someone you're thinking about, someone you love, or someone you're dealing with. Yeah. For those of you who would also be interested to know who's coming towards you, whether you are with someone or not, or even if you're single, you can check out my... Gypsy Monday Night's Tarot for this week. That's the main topic that we are we were talking about. Yeah, that's every Monday. So it's a Gypsy Monday Night's Tarot. Um, that's my reading for all signs every Monday. So check it out if you want to know um, the energies of who's uh, coming towards you. That's for all sign Aries to Pisces, and they are timestamps, so it's easier to watch. All right, Gemini, let's get on with your reading. This person's current feelings towards you. Let's see, Gemini, the current feelings towards you. It's a free flow reading, so I would also be drawing as many cards as um, I feel like it. Yeah. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. The Lovers, the Tower, the Queen of Cups, um, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, mm -hmm. the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, The Six of Swords, okay. The Four of Coins, let's see. Um, the Nine of Coins, okay. What is this? The Nine of Swords, oh wow. The Empress, Ace of Swords, what is this? Um, Eight of Wands, Page of Wands, okay, The Magician, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop there. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. I feel like this um, energy here is similar to the other reading I did um, just now on Libra. It's almost similar type of energy where you have this person in your mind who is feeling um, distant from you, whether it be because they meant it or because you put them at it or you held them at a distance. For Libra, they were keeping somebody at an arm's length. And here, I feel like you have someone here, Gemini, who feels lonely, who feels alone, who feels like they are not wanted in this world and who feels like someone who is undergoing some anxiety, yeah? 
It could be about their love life. It could be about life in general. But this person is, is pretty much feeling really rock bottom right now. Yeah. Um, they may have offered something to you. They may have tried to open up to you in the past, I feel. But it's more like what this person is really wanting is to be... Um, is to be connected, is to be reconnected with you. And it's not just connection as friends, but they are wanting something more. They're wanting to be more involved, to be more, um, I don't know, to be more in a loving relationship, to be that. <laughs> Gemini, that's what they want. <laughs> okay, so I feel like they want to touch you. They want to do more than what they are doing right now. But apparently in this connection, I see that there is lack of fun lack of investment yeah or effort towards gearing into something more dynamic for both of you uh, 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 let's say a relationship or you know a partnership that you are both connecting mentally spiritually physically i feel like that is that's what's missing here you're not really connecting at that level or even sexually right um, I do feel that this person still wants to offer you emotions, their love, or whatever that is. They're feeling something about you and they want to still be able to offer it to you. Yeah. The thing is, um, this person can tell that you may not be interested at all or you may not be as interested to them as you were before um they could feel that you want to or or that you're open to be supportive to be friendly to be to be seeing them and all that but you are not really um putting a lot of effort in terms of um, let's say forgiving and getting reunited and be back into each other's arms like this yeah this person feels like you know you're just not there anymore yeah so somehow I could feel that this person may be feeling at a loss right now in general, I feel this person is feeling lost, not just in love, but generally in their life. It feels like this could be someone who is having some financial difficulties too, um, feeling um, displaced in their own location. So for some of you, this person may be feeling homeless right now. Yeah, or some unable to sleep at night because they have a lot of worries right now too. Yeah, and much more talking about their connection with you they know that there is something real here but it is not really it's not it's not getting started yeah even if you have this queen of cups it feels like they were trying to if this person was trying to get back to you like trying to be more consistent or trying to talk to you and you have had a breakup in the past and then now you know, this person is, is showing some form of openness. Somehow, um, Gemini, that is this person's way of showing you their feelings. May or may not be in line with what you are expecting. But it feels like they want to give to you what you were probably asking before. Yeah? I feel like you were asking something in the past and they were not able to give it and therefore you ended up into this feeling of okay so be it i don't care anymore and then now i'm getting that this person is is wanting to give that isn't it too late yeah and i feel that like this person's feelings is that they're kind of at a loss right now because they know that there is a possibility here for both of you to grow and expand but they may have missed the chance they may have missed that opportunity when you were on it and they were just in this mode of i don't know what i want or i don't know i still have other problems to attend to yada 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 yeah so this time um this person is trying to whatever effort they are showing you this is their way of of um showing you that they want something new something real or something to start with you 
Yeah, all the aces I see here in this magician, there is an ace of wands, ace of swords, ace of cups, and ace of coins. I feel like this person is trying or thinking hard even on, on what they can do in order to manifest you back. Yeah, what else can they do? Um, I feel like they are also feeling like in a very hard place right now because... If you're the one who is holding back right now, holding back your emotions, holding back your your investments, yeah, in this connection, then they will be there's no way for them to do otherwise but step up. Yeah. And they very well know that on your own, you can definitely live on your own. You have this empress energy here. You can survive on your own. You can be on your own. I also see here we have the knight of and I mean the nine of um pentacles. That means that this person knows that you can very well live on your own, be settled, you can even find a new person that you feel will be more in line with your uh wants, yeah, in terms of relationship. This person knows that you can easily find somebody to replace them if you really want to. And that's one of the reasons why they are more worried right now. On top of that, they are also feeling displaced and at a loss. And there is this sense that this person is suffering from poverty, I feel, financially. There are some problems in, in that sense. Now, um, you know what? You will be surprised here, you know, because... Even if this person is, is running out of ways or, or yeah, running out of ways to, to show you that they, still want, uh, that they still want to reconcile, they still want both of you to start a new, um, let's say, a new relationship. For some of you, it's reconciliation that they really, they really want. Um, I feel like if something is missing here, if attraction is missing here if if you feel like um you are not enjoying the time together kissing or whatever however that attraction or chemistry is 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 portrayed in your connection i feel like this person is going to show that this person will try to incorporate or will try to put that back in place yeah because that could be their last uh, straw the last chance that they could do, at least in this person's mind. That's what I feel. So whatever is lacking, if it is the physical connection, this person will 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 do just that. Yeah. If you feel like this person is no longer interested in you and may just be interested with your financial assets, well, part of it is true. Yes, because that's what they are lacking, by the way. So part of it is that the support or the access to you is, is something that um, they want. And at the same time, I see that there could be a change in the way they deal with you. And all of a sudden, you will, you will see that this person will um, be more fun in terms of their conversation, chatting, to, to um, bring back you know, some level of fun here. Yeah. And I feel like it would start with, it would start with um, flirty chatting again. Somebody here will bring back the fun, yeah. And that's their last, uh, their last uh, way, or their final way of showing you that they want you. I feel like they're running out of options um, in terms of ways on how to get you back. So <laughs> you've got somebody. Just to be honest, it feels like a desperate person who is now realizing what they have lost, yeah? Desperate, desperately needing of some support, of some need on a personal level. And at the same time, in their love life, it feels like they can't even be fun with you because they are so caught up with their own problems, yeah? And more so now that this person can see that you can be on your own, yeah, you can live without them. Perhaps you have shown this person that definitely you can live without them. 
now I feel like they will change their game. They will change. Their, I'm not saying they're playing with you, but they will change your tactic. In in <laughs> shall I say, getting you back in bed first, <laughs> but in getting you back. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And for those of you who haven't um, checked out my book yet, I encourage you to get a copy. Yeah, I think you will love this. This is my my first mini novel, Divine Time. Um, it's now available in Amazon. The link I will put it in the description box below. So this is a book that will that talks about. Um, love that once found lost and eventually realized yeah learning how to go with the cosmic flow told in a poetic down-to-earth depiction of the fool's journey through the taros major arcanas so that means in this book you will get to read about what divine time means in our human human lives as well as get to know more about the energies of the major uh of the Taros Major Arcanas, yeah? This can supplement your um, learning, yeah? If you're learning how to read Tarot, um, this book right here could give you a more relatable story in addition to all the instruction or guidebooks that you may already have for Tarot readings, okay? So then, don't forget to get a copy, and once you do that, and once you read the book, let me know your comments about the book in, in Amazon review. I would truly appreciate you all. All right? Conti thank you for your continued support. Bye.